Well, it's early in the morning. So early that Sooty is still fast asleep. Shh, let's not disturb him. Oh, and Sue is fast asleep too. Bless her little cotton socks. I wonder what Sweep's up to. Oh, well, well, well. Surprise, surprise, he's asleep too. How do you like that? A matching set. Sooty, Sweep and Sue are all fast asleep. Unfortunately, the peace will not last because it is about to be shattered by a dreadful, spooky, ghostly moaning noise. Listen. Well, it's certainly woken Sweep up. And there it is again. It seems to have given Sweep the willies. He's going to wake Sooty. Come on, sleepyhead, says Sweep. Listen to this dreadful, spooky, ghostly moaning noise. Sooty finds it difficult to shake the sleep from his head. He rubs his eyes and... But wait, here it comes again. Oh, dear. It looks as if they've both got the willies now. Let's go wake Sue, says Sweep. OK, says Sooty. And before you can say dreadful, spooky, ghostly moaning noise, they're on their way. But even as they are on their way, that horrible, spooky noise happens again and stirs Sue from her slumber. Uh, what, what, what's that awful noise? It was a dreadful, spooky, ghostly moaning noise. You're right, Sweet. Was it you? Was it you making that noise? Was it you, Sooty? Well, in that case, we must go and report this matter to Matthew. Come on, let's go and find him. Matthew? Matthew? Hello? Oh, he's not here. Is he in bed, Sooty? And he's not at his desk, is he, Sweep? No. Oh, there's that noise again. Oh. Matthew? Matthew? Hello? Hello? Oh, there's no sign of him. You're right, Sweep. A sooty, what do you think is making that dreadful noise? Oh, you're right. Sooty says it's probably a creaking door or next door's cat stuck up a tree. You're right. There really is no need for us to be frightened at all. You're not frightened. And neither are you. Well, in that case, none of us are frightened, are we? <laughs> Matthew? M M Matthew, are you here? He's not here, Sweep. He's not there either. This is most odd. I wonder where on earth he can be. <gasps> A ghost could have got him. A ghost? Oh, don't be stupid, Sooty. There are no such things as ghosts, are there, Sweep? <coughs> hello? Hello? Oh, no, he's not in here, boys. Come, look for yourselves. What, Sweep? Matthew never comes in our bathroom. You're right, Sweep. He's too big, I know that. <gasps> oh, I know where he'll be. The one place in the house we haven't looked. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> See? There he is, in all his natural glory. <laughs> right, let's have those arpeggios again then, please, Maestro. After four. Four! And higher. Congratulations, Benissimo, encore, encore. Matthew, <laughs> it's you. It's me. I know it's me. This is my bathroom. What are you doing in here, you three? <laughs> you heard a noise? Yes, this dreadful, spooky, ghostly moaning noise. You're kidding. That sounds awful, Sue. Well, it was and still is because it seems the noise was your singing all the time. Come here, he. And here's me thinking I was in good voice as well. Well, I'm glad we sorted that business out oh. anyway. But now, would you mind telling me what that is in your bath? What? Where? Oh, this, this. Well, this is, um, this is my speedboat, actually, Sue. Speedboat? 
Indeed, Boat. Oh, yep. Matthew, fancy playing with toys in the bath at your age. Ah, well, it's not exactly a toy. See, this is a scale model of the boat that I used to ski behind when I was younger. <coughs> Can I ski? <coughs> <laughs> You're kidding, sweet. Of course I can. I was brill. You know, people used to come from miles around just to watch me. Well, I didn't know you could ski either, Matthew. Did you, Sooty? Oh, yes. Absolutely fantastic. I was so good at anything to do with water. Do you know, somehow I feel at home in the water, sort of uh, at one with it. Anything to do with water sports? I was there. You know, people used to say I was so fantastically good that I must be half man and half fish. They had a, a nickname which they used with great affection. What was that? Codface Corbett. I was very touched. Yes, I think we still are. Oh, come on, boys. Let's leave Codface. It's time we got washed. Yep. It's time that I got out as well. Where's that towel? Oh, here it is. Uh, the towel's not for me, by the way. Uh, it's for you. <laughs> you know, sometimes I have to bite my tongue. You know, Matthew has such a big head. I was so fantastically good. Huh. People used to travel from miles around to see me skiing. Oh, a likely story, huh? Now, Codface Corbett, that bit I do believe. But I bet he was hopeless at water sports. What, Sweep? What exactly is a water sport? Well, it's uh, any activity or game which has to do with water. You know, like, um... Yes, like water polo. That's right, Sooty. That's a game you can play on land or in the water. You thought of another one? Well, what is it, Sweep? Oh, you'll show us. <laughs> well, which water sport is that? Water golf? <laughs> oh, Sweep, you are a silly billy. Oh, you thought of another one too? Well, what is it, Sooty? Water cricket. Oh, Sooty, you're as bad as sweep. Listen, there are no such games as water golf and water cricket, but I wish there were. They're quite good fun, aren't they? Come on, let's play. Come on. <laughs> Watch it, sweep. Those were the days when Codface Corbett ruled the waves. <laughs> Do you know I love water? Which is why I'm going to have a glass full now. Excuse me. Cheers. Nice fresh, fresh water. What is the matter? What is the wrong? Look at that. Flipping taps packed up now. I've got a funny feeling this could be a very expensive glass of water. Where's that letter from the plumber? It's in this drawer. So... Oh, I've got it. I'm going to have to get the plumber in now. Just a minute. This is a very long telephone number. Oh, no, that's his last bill. Last bill! <laughs> Funny, isn't it? No, I didn't think so either. I'd better get him anyway. Can't come before November. It's 1997. Oh, hi, Sooty. What? What am I doing? I'm ringing the plumber. What? You want the telephone? What do you mean you want the telephone? What, what are you doing? I'm trying to ring the plumber. It's not necessary. Well, of course it's necessary. What's this? What is this? Water Plumbing Service, Chief Engineer, Sooty, Chief Engineer's... Hang on a minute, just, just a minute. Just, does this mean that you are a plumber? You, a plumber? I feel to have been here before. All right, look, if you are a plumber, then you better sort my problem out. Go and sort it out. Go on. Whereabouts is a stopcock? I don't know. It'd be down there somewhere. Grab your tools and go and see if you can find it. Go on, sort the problem out. Oh, Do... hello, Codface. Hi, Sue. Where's Hi. Where's Sooty? Well, it... He's a plumber, you see. I've got a few problems with my waterworks. He's having a look at my stopcock. Oh, dear. Are you sure this is wise, Matthew? What? Why? Why? Well, sooty and water together. Ah, you could have a point there. I think you probably are right. I'd better get him back again. Sooty, what are you down there? <laughs> what is happening? Do you mind? Look at me. What? The, look at that! Sooty, look, forget it, forget it. Can you come back up here, please? Forget about it. You obviously don't know anything about plumbing. Which is surprising, really, considering you're a little squirt. Oh, 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 oh. And it seems that you're a big drip, too, Matthew. Oh, <laughs> very punny, Sue. Very punny indeed. Would you come up here, please, Sooty? Look, just forget about that. I'm going to get myself a proper plumber, OK? On the phone. I'm going to ring one up that now. That won't be necessary. What do you I'll mean, Sue? I'll take that wrench. What, this wrench here? 
Why? I'll fix the plumbing for you. You? Certainly, and why not? Well, I... I've been studying plumbing at night school for some time. You don't have to be a genius to stick a few pipes together, don't which you... is just as well, since most plumbers are men. What? Oh, charming. Well, well, all right, then be my guest. I mean, yes, do the plumbing. Do me a full plumbing service. I can't wait to watch, Sue. Well, I hate to disappoint you, King Cod. What? That's exactly what you're not going to do. No? You stay, I go. You go, I'll plumb. Have it your own way. So you're being very assertive all of a sudden. Well, all right, but where will I go to? Well, please yourself. Oh, and take Sooty and Sweet, too. I'm not having them looking over my shoulder. But where, where am I going to go to? Well, since you're so brilliant at water sports, yes. why don't you nip down to the water skiing lake and watch them skiing? Who knows? Yeah. They may all be fans of Codface Corbett. Oh, stand back, Sooty. Sue, you are a little... Chuchy face you are! That's a great idea. Are you coming, Sooty? Come on, then. Sweep, come down here. Come with us. You lot as well. Follow Codface. You know, this was a great idea of Sue's, for us to come down here while she stays behind doing the plumbing. <sighs> Do you know, it's like a, like a trip down memory lane for me, this. Look at that. Look. See that? Look. <laughs> It looks very difficult. Oh, well, yes, you see, it does look difficult, but, but that's the trick, you see. That is, that is what they do. They make it look difficult. But actually, actually, it is easy-peasy, lemon-squeezy. <laughs> Could I do that? <laughs> Could I do that? <laughs> sweet, sweet. You're talking here to Codface Corbett, King of the Waves. Of course <laughs> I could do that. I could do that backwards. There he is going around the corner. Ah, ha, ha, ha. They, all, they all just fault in the book. You're leaning back too far. You shouldn't lean back that far. I would never, you'd never catch me leaning back that far. And uh, here he is coming with it. You see that little dip there? Yes, well, uh, it's a common fault. Not one that I, I'd make, of course. And, uh, well, you know, he's not doing too badly. Uh, there he goes. And he's, uh, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> see, yeah, well, it, it sat down on that one. I mean, I would, I would never, never sit down. You see, he's coming out there. He's a little bit tense. I wouldn't do that at all. As a matter of fact, when I used to do things like that, well, I, often I would do them backwards and so... I've gone left me. <laughs> oh, well, you just have to do without the benefit of my vast experience and knowledge, won't they? <sighs> Actually, these guys... See, is it? Oh, I'm nearly over there. Well, he seems to be. Uh, why on earth does, do these people have to do all this? It, why isn't he travelling in a straight line, for goodness' sake? Can't he? Can't he go in a straight line? It's one of the easiest things in the world. All you get. Ah, now you see, he's obviously hurt me. He's hurt me, and now he's travelling in a straight line. Did you see him before? He was going side to side. I don't know. You never catch me going side to side. Yeah, he's, he's disappeared completely. <laughs> What, sweep? <laughs> you want to take a photo of me? <laughs> That's Cod's Wallop Corbett. It's Cod Face Corbett, actually, sweep. There's no point, really. I mean, I'm not really dressed. I, I want a, I want a wet soon, some skis, that sort of thing. <laughs> what? Hey, what's it? A water ski? Look at that. And a wet suit. Where do you get these things from, sweep? You borrowed them. What? Can you take a photo? But all right, look, uh, I'm going to get changed into these things. I'll, I'll see you down by the water's edge, all right? Terrific. Hey, sweet, OK. Uh, this will do nicely. Oh, hang on, hang on. I better hang on to the uh, thingy, the uh, tow rope thingy. That's it. OK. Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Come here, come here. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that any second now, the boat is going to start up and pull me into the middle of the water, eh? <laughs> no chance. You're absolutely wrong because there is no one in the boat since everybody's gone for lunch. So, nah, 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 nah. <coughs> okay, sweep. Fire away. <coughs>
Yes, I know. You, you don't have to tell me. It's my fault, isn't it? I've been boasting again. The truth is, I can't water ski at all. Uh, however, one thing I do know, at least Sooty can't water ski. That's one thing for sure. Look! I made a complete, a complete <coughs> nerd. <coughs> That's the word I'm looking for. That'll do. I made a complete nerd of myself. Well, you must oh. stop exaggerating, Matthew. Yeah, I know. You're right, Sue. I, I, I am so... By the way, what about Sooty and his skiing? That was <coughs> fantastic, Sooty. Where did you learn to ski like that? You're just a natural. <coughs> He's at one with the water. <laughs> oh, poor Matthew. You don't seem to have had much luck with water to date. No, I haven't really, Sue. I mean, first of all, there was that disaster with all the plumbing mm. and the... Hey, the plumbing! <laughs> Sue, I never asked you about the plumbing. I'm terribly sorry. I just forgot. How did the plumbing... Oh, relax, go... Matthew. What? It's all done. Is everything it... checked over, given a clean bill of health and everything tidied up and put away. Oh, Sue, that is amazing. <laughs> you little choochy face. How can I ever thank you? Well, since you ask, there is one favour you could do me, Matthew. Right. Name it, Sue. Name it. Well, this was Sue's favour. She wanted to have a bath in my bath, the big bath, with lots of water, lots of bubbles and all their toys. So <laughs> here they are. I must say, you deserve it after all that very complicated plumbing, Sue. Oh, thank you. It wasn't very difficult, you know. No? The main problem was in here. What, in this room? Yes, but no worries. I fixed the lot. Well, uh, um, at least I think I have. Good. Well, I think you're a very, very clever little panda <laughs> and I'm going to drink a toast to your health. Do you know something? I love water. I really do. Oh, no, Sue. It stopped working again, look. For goodness sake. Oh, oh, oh. What? Just half a second, that. <laughs> oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Let's just say bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>